In 1996, the first Tamagotchi toy was released in Japan by the company Bandai. And for those who don't know what a Tamagotchi is, it's basically a virtual pet which starts as a baby that hatches from an egg, which you then have to nurture to adulthood. Shortly after the first Tamagotchis, Bandai released a second version, and these two versions are commonly referred to as P1 and P2, or Generation 1 and Generation 2. Over the last 15 plus years, over 40 different models have been produced, each with unique features and some with color screens. Most recently, in 2017, a remake of the original P1 Tamagotchi and P2 Tamagotchi was released by Bandai, which was a smaller version of the original design. Of course, the series also got an anime, which is popular in Japan, of course, and there is also a lot of merchandise. And with such a big franchise, of course, there are games based on the little pets, most notably on the Nintendo DS. But let's go back to the beginning. Tamagotchis are a big success in 1996 and so in 1997 the first Tamagotchi game was released on the original Game Boy. So here it is in all its 8-bit glory. The game starts off with a UFO crashing down on Earth. The Tamagotchis are basically aliens hatching from eggs. Is anyone getting the same bad alien vibes here or is it just me? And oh man, I love the sound design in this game. Just listen to that intro tune. It reminds me of chip tunes and I like it. After the UFO crash, you are presented with the main menu. And here you can start a new game or continue nurturing your existing Tamagotchis. Yes, you can manage multiple Tamagotchis at once, and yes, this game uses saves. Awesome! When starting a new game, you get to choose which egg you want to hatch, and your selection has absolutely zero influence on which random baby your egg will hatch. Your baby will be a random baby from either the earlier mentioned P1 or P2 Tamagotchis. I won't go into detail on every option or tell you how to bring up the perfect Tamagotchi, but in short, you need to feed, clean and entertain your Tamagotchi until it dies from either old age or neglect. Depending on how well you take care of your pet, it will eventually evolve into one of various adults. The only weird thing is that a P1 Tamagotchi can evolve into a P2 adult and vice versa. Purists probably won't like this, but for me personally, that's just fine. I love how feisty they made the Tamagotchis. When playing a brain game, for example, you can give them the correct answer to a simple math question, but sometimes they will blatantly ignore you and just go for their own wrong answer. Also, every Tamagotchi has its own favorite food and sometimes refuses to eat something if it doesn't like what you're giving him. It's little things like this that makes them feel more like a real pet. Raising a virtual pet on a Game Boy seems like a pretty mundane task, but they added some gameplay elements to keep the Game Boy adaptation interesting. For starters, as mentioned before, you can raise three pets at the same time, giving the game the hard needed extra variation. It can get pretty hectic if they all need different things from you, which is a good thing. Another difference is the ability to easily skip time. With a real Tamagotchi you carry it around all the time and it's on 24 hours a day, so you can nurture its needs whenever it beeps. This cannot be achieved on a Game Boy and so to speed things up, you can click the clock icon to skip an hour forward. And because your Tamagotchi is only on when your Game Boy is on, it works with save states. When you exit the game using the menu, it saves the current state of your pet on your cartridge. This is the equivalent of pausing your original Tamagotchi. All in all, this is a very good adaptation of Tamagotchi on the Game Boy and really worth a few minutes of your time every day.
that's the end of this video. So for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.